Hello! For this video, I figured I'd do something a little bit different because, uh, as you know, probably, maybe, as you know, um, I have moved to the cities slash suburb of the cities, Burnsville. And, um, I quickly realized that moving here, I uh, need to speak a little bit of Spanish because the Spanish speaking community is vast. Of course, back in high school, there was the option of Spanish or French. And I opted to take two years of French because, you know, I thought that would come in handy in America. So, this is a video I'm going to call Spanish with RJ. So, I'm not gonna go into great depths with the Spanish speaking language, but I figured just to hit a few pinpoints, like important phrases or words that you need. So, first one, I'm sure many of you know, yes is C. It's weird too, because it's just, it's just the letter C, which people would think it's pronounced K. Like, hey, you going to the baseball game later? K. No, C. You going to the baseball game later? C. The next word we're gonna do is no. No. All done. The next word is gonna be please. Please is poor favor. Oh, could you, could you hand me that spatula, please? Or could you hand me that spatula? Poor favor, right? That's poor, poor favor. Next is hot, like ooh, ah, that surface is hot, caliente. Mm, but you gotta, you gotta say it with like sort of an accent. That girl, that chiquita down there, she is so caliente. She's, she's hot? Caliente. Next is one that I recently learned working at the place of business I work at now. I work at Noodles and Company. Come say hi in Burnsville if you ever want to. This word is knife. Because you carry around a knife, you have to let people know that, look out, don't come around this corner, I have a knife. Knife! Knife in Spanish is puchillo. Puchillo. Knife. The next word is bread. I, I think it's bread. I don't know. Bread. Tortilla. Bad. Actually, now, saying, saying that out loud, I don't think that's what bread is. But, you know, I'm gonna stick with it. Bread is tortilla. Tortilla. Again, say it in an accent. It's way cooler. The next word is friend. Amigo. Amigo. Friend. That's been my little Spanish lesson for little words that you'll need in the outside world. Don't take French. Don't take two years of French. It won't do you any good. Don't even take, don't even take Spanish classes. Just watch this video and you'll get by. Bye bye